Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And I'm doing something super cool right now. I'm actually over in Lenore again. I've been to Lenore a few times to Fort Defiance, to the Chapel of Rest, and to the Witch's Keyhole. I really, really love this area out here. And come to find out, I actually have a relative buried in a cemetery out here. It's my sixth great grandmother, which is really odd because most of my family is from the east coast of North Carolina. So all of my family is over there. So finding somebody over here that's connected to me is really cool for me. So I'm going to go find the cemetery. I'm actually parked over at a Dollar General. And the church is about a few minutes away from here. I was really thirsty, so I pulled over and I pulled over for a drink and to make sure I had my correct directions. And it's actually down there. I think maybe down that road right there. Anyway, I can't wait to find it and I can't wait to show you guys. Guys, I found it. I found it and it is really huge. I have to park somewhere and the marker and headstone I'm looking for is really distinctive so I don't think it's going to be too hard to find. It's a late 1700s marker. Maybe I can park somewhere in the back of this church. I don't know but this place is massive. So the headstone I'm searching for is actually similar to one up there. When I said it's really distinctive, um, it's got the signature three rounded bumps at the top. So it might be that one. I don't know. But that's the only one I see on this side. And this cemetery goes all the way around. It's on, it continues to that side of the church and maybe towards the back, I think, too. But that might be it. Oh, no shit, it is. Sorry for the language, y'all, but I found this right off the bat. Oh my god. That is crazy sauce. Looks like it might be a soapstone a uh, head headstone. I might be right. It might be just really old granite, but it looks like it's soapstone. So I'm not sure if I want to clean it off. I've got my cleaner in my car. I can use that if I want to, but I'm not sure I wanna risk it if it's soapstone. But the fact that you can still read it is really, really cool. Okay, so I did end up giving it a light coat of some of my wet and forget because it was caked in algae and there's still some up at the top. But it's a little cleaner now. And it is on bad shirt, so I didn't want to step on too many toes here. But I mean, it is family. I mean, I can't clean off family stones, I guess. Okay, so I know her husband, Robert, is buried out here, too, and I came across that. That's barely legible, but it says Robert. I don't know if it's my Robert or another Robert. I can't tell, and I don't want to take a cleaning agent to it unless I know for sure it's mine. So I really was not expecting to find my six times great-grandmother out here that fast. So I'm going to walk around here and spend a few minutes out here before... I have to go home and it's really humid. We just had a downpouring or a downpouring of rain before my drive up here and the sun's in my eyes. But on the way up here it stopped raining and the clouds opened up and it got warm and I wasn't gonna can my drive for anything, but I'm so glad it stopped raining. A lot of these stones are in really poor condition. I'm also on a very active highway, so probably going to hear a lot of traffic and a lot of distortion. I am coming across a lot of uh, Masonic symbols and a lot of Scots and Irish settlers, which makes sense. Pre-American Revolution, you have all these settlers trying to get 
free land from the governor. If you know your North Carolina history, then you know what I'm talking about. Governor Tryon handed out uh, land like candy to anybody who would settle this part of the state. But I have a feeling I'm being, like, watched. And I think this church might have a camera somewhere. Um, most modern-day churches have cameras. And that might be where it's coming from. But I don't see a camera anywhere on outside. So I walked from that side to where I was parked to the opposite side where it seems like the church just kind of splits the cemetery into sections and this looks like it might be the modern part of the cemetery. A lot of the dates are a little younger than the previous side but let's go in here and look anyway. There's a few older ones but most of them seem to be of modern times. Not necessarily, you know, um, this decade, but a time capsule. Are you freaking serious? To be opened June 2nd, 2114. That is crazy. I can't believe I just came across this. This is nuts. Wow. Now, it said the time capsule was buried back in 2014, uh, six years ago. I wonder what kind of stuff they put down there. Maybe, like, newspaper clippings or pictures or books. Some sort of, like, reading material. That is freaking lovely. I love that I came across that. I severely lost track of time guys I was all the way back here and it looks like they're about to have a service over there so I didn't want to venture too far back there just out of respect but um I kind of got lost back here <laughs> lost track of time which is really easy for me to do in places like this so I'm making my way back to my car so I can go home it's a about a 40 minute drive back home but if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them and I'll get back to you soon. Catch you guys later.